previously, which is the rags. I then gave punching homeless women a go. Oh, these fucking... oh, oh, uh, Trevor Phillips Industries! The team for this heist was goth rock wannabe Dio, expert driver Pesca, and this gay porn star, Fist Al. They see me rolling, they hate it. I've got some silenced weapons in my garage for you. After delivering what we thought were drugs, we found out it was just a portable blue toilet for Ron. I don't shit on my doorstep. I then spotted this on the map and said to everyone, Right, there are two enemies right next to the tanker, so don't use any missiles. Thanks, Pesca. Introducing brand new merch from Beatsdown Gaming. For just £99.99, you can own a Thanks Pesca t-shirt or a Dark Eclipse Night t-shirt. They come in a range of sizes from Skinny Dweeb Brophy 1322 to Fat Bastard. Order now as limited stock available. Advertisement number two. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't very pleased that our pay was a bag full of Trevor's used wank tissue. But Fistow was, and he said he would sniff them in his next movie. Now let's get the hell out of here. Considering that they look nothing alike, Phil told him that all his relations have birthmarks on their willies. Yeah, I have them. <laughs> have you ever had one of those friends who is a twat and tries to ruin your game experience? Well, I did. After completing a nightclub cellar mission, this arsehole then shut out my tyres. I gave him the benefit of the doubt as he then lent me his Akuchu track. And then I invited him again to help me sell my bunker stock. But it turns out that he was just an utter moron as he tried to get a mine surgeon instead of the free one, which is massive and even shows up on the map. Just after myself and Hackerboy finished off Merryweather, I went to grab some quick ammo. What? So while I had my back turned and was picking up some supplies, this guy did this. Oh, sorry about the smell. It's building out of my ear urine. Eat a dick, you shit! Surprisingly, this was the first time another player had killed me, which meant I got to meet this guy from Death Stranding. Welcome, brother, brother. Whose entire purpose was to tell me that I can go into passive mode. It is the greatest pleasure on Earth. Not being the type of person that puts up with trolling arseholes, I then told him he was a knob and then blocked him. And nobody ever heard from him again. To unlock some colours in LS Customs, you have to win a C race. I was up against this chick who already had a 100% win rate. But she was actually rubbish and I beat her easily. I also had to win some land races and get some slipstreams. So I created my own racetrack in the shape of a penis and called it Ha Ha A Willy. The idea was to let Dio lead and get into his slipstreams and then win at the very end. With 66 slipstreams still to get, we both got bored and gave up. With a cool $5 million in the bank, it was now time that I invested in a terabyte. You've got a specialized vehicle workshop. You can modify an Oppressor Mark II back there if you want to buy one. Why yes Paige and your sexy voice, I did want to buy one, but I needed to complete 5 client jobs first in order to save myself nearly a million. In order to start these jobs, I had to put a massive hand onto this giant iPad. Log on when you're ready, and I'll talk you through it. You're plugged into the traffic camera network. Check through the cameras and try to find this robbery. Try and take them down before more cops show up, or you'll be fighting on all fronts. My first mission was to steal for some bank robbers, one of which was dressed as a juggernaut. Probably the worst idea ever, as not only was there a juggernaut, but the cops were already there. But luckily, I had the old Batmobile to help me out. Off our hands. You. I hope you can handle them. Okay, 
On the way out, my friend Dio came to watch, so I blew him up. When I returned to the tower bike to start the next mission, two of them were blocked, saying that I needed a drone to start them. So I had to spend another 800,000 on a drone station, pretty much wiping out the discount I'd get for doing these jobs. Get over there and put some of our technology to use. What was even worse than that, you didn't even need a drone to do any of these missions, that you could just drive straight to the jewelers. <laughs> I then met who must be the coolest man ever during a violent robbery. While I was positioning the terabyte for the next job, I spotted this blue dot, who I knew would be Patrick McCreary, an unlockable gunman for the casino heist. Alright, alright, let's go, let's go, who's the cops? After kidnapping Paddy and finding it a bit tricky to lose the cops, I rang Lester to help us out. Hi, what service are you looking for? Okay, okay, I'll get you out of trouble. No problem. But as I was delivering McCreary, I suddenly got the cops again for absolutely no reason. Martha! Oh, for fuck's sake, f*** off. Which then caused me to run out of time, and the mission was over. Oh, Being the petty guy that I am, I then stuck some sticky bombs to the van, and then blew it up. quantities of personal data. Well, the drone will. So get over to their offices and we'll talk. Despite what Paige says, the drone won't do anything in this job, as you can just run straight into the Facebook, I mean the Life Invader offices, <laughs> hack the computer, one laptop down, one to go. We should have access to all that personal data as soon as it's done. And then blow up whoever this guy is meant to be. Afterwards, either Dio was still upset with me for blowing him up, or he was just being a knob in the hope he'd get some spotlight, as he knew I was recording for Riches to Rags. And his name is John C. Christ. I'll let you guys decide. The job is finding and securing data drives being moved around the city, and not asking what's on them. The fourth job was to locate one of four cars and then steal it. I'm not detecting anything from that vehicle. That means that last vehicle must have them on board. Bring it in. Sounds simple, right? Well, it would be if it didn't have armored glass and a main neck driver. To chase them down, I got on the side of Dio's buzzard and failed miserably at trying to kill him with an AP pistol. We then tried a more conventional approach. Okay, you've got this. I don't know what we're stealing, but I know they won't want it stolen. Nearly 10 minutes later, we finally completed the job. As it was now getting late, I took a short break to see what was on YouTube this week. Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I have another top 5 video for you guys on GT Online. And this one was a pretty heavily requested one, which was top 5 sandals. <laughs> so at number 5 we have these brown leather ones. Now needing cheering up, I took my new terabyte drone out for a spin. I then saw this guy griefing, so I introduced him to Drake. And do you remember this song? <laughs> 
not happy with my choice of music, he then tried to escape in a jet. A little while ago, I attempted to complete all the stunt jumps. I only had two left, so I thought I'd give him another go, and hoping a much smaller car would help me complete the prison one. And I was dressed as a prison guard, so there was no way I was going to get a wanted level. I still had to take on the end level boss of stunt jumps, the lighthouse. I had chosen the Akuma for this one, though I had to be making quite a few claims, and it was only 112 bucks. This is Morse Mutual Insurance. I can do that. Morse Mutual, how can I be of service? I'll look into it. So after completing the five client jobs and Rockstar giving me my monthly one million dollars, I could finally afford the Oppressor Mark II. But I then had to spend another 360,000 on more upgrades. Upgrades installed, now let's see what this baby can do. I killed this guy who was just minding his own business. I blew up this dude who was on a normal Oppressor. Pah, noob. I got this guy who clearly sucks in a jet. There was this guy with a bounty. And this guy without a bounty. All this killing without any real skill or effort sure was fun, but I just couldn't help but think that there was just something missing. Now dressed as a fully fledged tryhard, I went on a real rampage. I didn't care who you were, I was going to kill you. I killed this red guy. This white guy. This purple dude. This blue dude. These two guys at the same time. This blue guy I killed before, but now with a bounty. This other tryhard in his Mark II, who'd rather kill himself than have me do it. And this guy just minding his own business driving his new car. It was sure becoming expensive being a tryhard, and even worse than that, it somehow made my penis absolutely tiny. So to earn some more money back, I tried my luck on a spinny wheel. Go 
A Pegasi jacket sure wasn't going to pay the bills, so I checked my safe and then took on a double money event for this week, Survival. I was joined by You Are Bad, Vajit 9i and the dyslexic Scaby Penuts, who was clearly a big fan of Rich's Rags as he had the emblem on his t-shirt. Ironically, the guy called You Are Bad died immediately. Proof that you should never give yourself a shitty trolling name, especially if you can't back it up. Now humiliated at being so awful, he then left. this truck in my firing line, I thought to throw a sticky bomb on it and explode it to move it out of the way. And the NPC has never said a truer sentence. Look at that dipshit! Which brings us nicely on to top 5 NPC insults. Number 5 you are a piece of shit. Number 4 fuck no. Number 3 Get the fuck on now. Number 2 Why don't you go on back to your wussy daddy? daddy. Number 1 Look at that dipshit! Survivor completed, and I'm now up to rank 67. Get in! For the next survival, I had two cars helping me out in the form of Uphill Auto, a Volvo, and deceased rap legend Biggie. But then he left. Then at the beginning of wave 3, the Volvo left. Ah! Then at the beginning of wave 4, the other guy left, leaving me all on my own. You could say that it was going to be an uphill battle. I was granted to me from the tryhard outfit, I completed the survival. And to finish the day, I had a nice warm shower to wash all the blood, guts and stench from your mum off my hairy back sack and crack. <laughs> so join us next time, when Lester gets horny and I rob a bank. In the next episode of Riches to Rags. So join us next time when Lester gets horny and I rob a bank.